Hi guys, here in Novak. So, my first video in English. And I'm going to talk about a music called House in the Countryside. A version that I made from the music, from the Brazilian music called Casa no Campo. So, if you're ready, let's go! First of all, the music Casa no Campo, the Brazilian version, the original version, for sure, was written by Zé Rodrigues and Tavito, and I am a huge fan of Zé Rodrigues, I really like his work. And the song became very, very famous on Elis Regina's voice, it became a very important song here in Brazil. So I decided to make a version of the song, an English version, an English uh, lyrics for this music. And I decided to use some Pink Floyd elements. I made a very slow track. I used an organ. I used uh, a guitar with a big reverb. Uh, and I think it sounds sometimes a little bit like Pink Floyd. <laughs> of course, it's just an inspiration. I'm not David Gilmour. I'm not Roger Waters, but I think it, when you listen to the music, you know that, oh, the guy that made this music, like he likes Pink Floyd. For sure you can understand it. The lyrics in English are very close, that I made, are very close to the lyrics in Portuguese. Despite that, uh, I had to change some things. For example, there is a part that says, the hope in my glasses and my song with a fresh mind and I had to combine something with mind, fresh mind so I wrote I want to plant and to harvest by hand the grapes for wine it's different because in Portuguese, Portuguese we don't say eu quero plantar e colher com a mão a uva para o vinho it doesn't combine because in Portuguese the lyric is I, Eu quero plantar e colher com a mão a pimenta e o sal So it's completely different This is a little bit uh, change that I made Because I thought it would be sound better in English It would make more sense The guitar solo Of course completely uh, inspired by Pink Floyd was made by me. I'm not a great guitarist. I don't see myself as a guitar player. I prefer when I have some guitar player to help me to, to record to me. As a friend uh, called Rigel, I'm gonna tell about him more in the future videos. So now I don't have somebody to help me. I'm alone in my home st studio and I had to do things on my own and I recorded this solo but I think it's a very beautiful solo it's a very uh, melodic solo you should listen to it in the very ending of the song I decided to put a little, very little part of Portuguese lyrics. I repeat what I just sang in English, but I repeat uh, in Portuguese and with a strong guitar. I made a lyric video for the song. Uh, it was my first lyric video. I used a program that I discovered. I don't remember the name now. But it's a very simple program. It's a very simple video. But there are nice colors, and as the lyric are very nice, I think the most important is to understand what is saying in the music. I invite you to listen to the song, to watch the previous video that I posted. I'm going to put here, or here, I don't remember, I think here, I'm going to put here. So you can listen to the song and know about the lyrics that I made the English version 
and you can tell me if you think that it remembers or not Pink Floyd music, uh, mainly the comfortably numb one, okay? So please tell me what are your impressions, what do you think about the lyric, what do you think about the instruments, and I would like so much to know about it, okay? And friends, I invite you to watch my videos, watch the videos that I made talking to the people and the videos that I, that I made with my music. I invite you to listen to my music and be a part of this channel, be a part with me, let's talk about music, let's talk about important things. Please subscribe, uh, share the video and write your impressions, ok? I'm going to do more videos in English, I'm going, I'm going to talk to people that don't, that don't understand Portuguese. It's a, a real challenge to me, because one thing is when you're talking in English with someone in face to face, another thing is to think about um, points that you have to say and you have to remember all, all these points and you have to make something like a checklist and sometimes I don't remember just this checklist, I don't remember what I have to say and it's not so natural to me of course it's going to become very natural but it's not yet but anyway I think it's going to be very nice to talk to people that don't speak Portuguese maybe reach more people that are interested about the music that I'm doing, ok? Bye people, thanks for watching and have a very good week, bye!